Hey guys, how you doing? It's Deepak here again. I bought my hat this time, um, uh, co-founder here at CertWiz, and I uh, wanted to keep talking to you about your reports and you know how you can talk them through with the client. So one of the next things, if we go ahead and open up a report now, you'll see as compared to the other, other videos, ta-da, I put the um, details of CertWiz as well as Pearl Lemon, it's the SEO agency that I run. Please do get in touch with us if you need any help. But Today we're going to be talking, I say today, in this video we're going to be looking at ultimately your text to HTML ratio. So ultimately what this refers to is um, how much HTML you have on the page. So um, it says here your text to HTML ratio needs an overhaul. Web pages of higher text content to HTML tend to be more readable and understandable for people and keep them coming back for more. See our tool tip for advice on why this matters. Uh, we're still working to get these tool tips built. But fundamentally uh, what this refers to is if I go to, for example, Pearl Lemon, where it's saying our text to HTML ratio isn't fantastic, it's probably because this is built in Elementor and um, it means that there's quite a lot of code on this page. So whilst we have got a lot of text, okay, we've just got a lot of HTML as well. And HTML hypertext markup language is, is the code that's used to build this page. As you can see, it's a long ass page, which is obviously a good thing from an SEO perspective. But if we go, and I just Google this as a cross reference for you so you can have a look. So it says here the ideal text to HTML ratio is 25 to 70%, okay? Which refers to the visible text as opposed to HTML elements. Um, and there's a couple of um, there's a couple of folks here that are writing about it. So let's just have a look, you know, site guru. Uh, I think they're a competitor around actually. But um, uh, what else does it say? And, you can look at how much text is displayed on the page versus a HTML code, headings, links, JavaScript, and images. Um, and um, you know they've got a, a free site checker tool as well. Um, and it's it's whilst it's not a, a ranking signal, it does help from you know an SEO perspective because it's the page speed basically, HTML speed. Yeah, yeah, it's all of these things. You know, build build for load speed, better user experience, better indexing of pages because it's got clean and compact code. Um, and then there's ways to fix it. Um, you can validate your code, um, you can check your website speed, you can include more text, you can reduce the size of your page, best to keep it under 300 kilobytes, consider exporting the CSX to an external file and use it only for styling and formatting, get rid of unnecessary images, resize, avoid tables. Um, so there's all of these elements that, that come along with it. So thank you team at SiteGuru. Um, and then there's some more information. Let's just see if it's different from WooRank. Um, I wonder if there's anything in here that's different. So one of the things you'll find out about me, guys, is that, you know, I, I'd say I know a fair amount about SEO, but, um, you know, you can always learn more and you can always be reminded of some of the necessaries. Um, yeah, so Core Web Vitals is being um, basically um, put together and it's going to show you um, how long it takes to main t uh, load page content. So um, Core Web Vitals is la launching under Google Search Console. It may already have launched by the time you watch this, but... Um, We've got some interesting elements here that says uh, we've got you know a, a, a code validator which is uh, this element here uh, which you can go to validatorw3.org and bam 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 let's head on to here uh, you've got avoid lots of tags tabs remove comments and code resize images we spoke about that remove any heading text that's not visible to people use internal linking that's not really a html to code thing um, plain text. So guys, basically, um, that is in reference to uh, this section here, your HT text to HTML ratio. And in our instance, we've got a lot of text, but we've just got a lot more, you know, that's not under 300 kilobytes, look at that. And that's that's the problem. So it's not about the visible text. It's, well, it's a visible text in comparison to the amount of code. So the things that none of these sites necessarily cover where you'd get perhaps confused is that this Deepak, you've got, you've got loads of text. I mean, look at that, look at that. Look at this. Um, that reminds me, actually, this and this needs to be done on on all of those where there's some emboldening and stuff like that. Um, so um, I just want to really underline that text to HTML ratio is important. It's not a direct ranking signal, but it does impact your ability to um, rank because of the compact code improves um, the page load, improves the crawlability because Google can read it more easily, and therefore it does actually impact SEO. So. I hope that that makes sense. I hope that that's uh, given you some insights into how to understand text to HTML ratio. And uh, I'll catch you in the next video. Cheers.